Hello, a great welcome to Idea Statica tutorial. Myself Jairaj MP. This is tutorial number 13. Here I will demonstrate the modeling and analysis of a typical bolted bracket connection. The bracket connection used in the tutorial is shown here. In this case, the bolts are subjected to a resultant shear due to vertical applied load and the in-plane moment. So, now let us start Idea Statica tutorial number 13. So let us start with a blank project. So here we will write down the name, the bracket design. And for the description we can write down, this is for uh, the in-plane moment. In moment. And we will choose the steel grid as 2 sun fire, the bolt assembly will change it to M24. So we can keep it as 8.8. Okay. And uh, the concrete grid will not touch, and the design will be done as per a Unicode. So let us create a project. So the bracket consists of uh, modeling the vertical movers, modeling the bracket elements, and also applying the loads. So let us start adding the member. So we'll go for a round section. And the roll section will go for an HE section that is a GA450. So we have a GA. So we'll go for uh, a GA450. So this is my HEA450. That's okay. So let us start editing the parameters. So this will be kept as continuous. And the rotation numbers will be beta will be 90 degrees, beta will be 0 degrees, and gamma. Is a pitch so this has to be vertical so it is 90 and alpha will keep it as 90 degrees for the change in the orientation so this was 90 degrees and all the offsets will be kept as a zero and uh, we'll keep this as a, a model type as NVY, VZ, MX, MY, MZ they will not change any parameters so let us see the model so these are vertical column number on which the bracket need to be attached so let us start uh, first uh, modeling the bracket plates by means of the manufacturing operation. So we'll add a manufacturing operation. And in the manufacturing operation, the brackets will be provided through the splice plate operation. So we'll press splice and uh, we'll be providing the same uh, M24 8.8 bolts. So select it. Okay. So as you can see, a splice plate is already, you know, generated so we need to change the parameters so the member m1 will be uh, the splice plate so this is m1 and it's a top latch it's okay and member two not specified and we we need to connect it to a new plate so we can have it as a new plate so let us start providing the dimensions of the splice plate so material will be as 275 and the thickness will keep it as a 20 mm 20 mm and the location we can keep it as a front and the bolted center line all this will remain the same and we will let us keep it as a based on the column dimensions let us keep it as a 450 450 and the b2 will keep it as a zero b2 is equal to zero and then we have uh, the offsets the offsets the pre-calculated offsets works out to be say 400 here and we will keep an offset of from the column at just minus 10 so that's equal to minus 10, minus 10, and uh, so that completes the specification of the dimensions of the splice plate. So let us start going for uh, the definition of uh, the boards. So we have M24 8.8, and uh, all these boards will be specified with respect to the member x axis. And let us provide the transverse dimensions. The transverse dimensions will let us keep it as a 70 and 10. 70 here instead of 100 will keep it as a 70 that's good enough for us and uh, this will also will keep it as minus 70 okay and uh, this uh, dimensions so that is what we call as the longitudinal positions will be kept as a 50, 50 and we'll keep it as a 70 to be one of the six boards rows so we'll keep it as a 70 to 5 17 to 5 that's okay and all other parameters remain the same so as you can see the bolts are the, the properly generated so one splice plate is ready for us so let us quickly see the model now so so this is 
So you can say that this is my splice plate. Okay, this is a one bracket plate which I, we have generated. And now we, should, we have to copy this bracket plate onto the other flange. So let us just copy this splice plate one so that we can keep it on the other flange as well. So we'll just copy this. So the only difference is that we will have it as a, instead of, for example, the top flange, it has to be provided on the bottom flange only. So we'll keep it as a bottom flange. Okay, so we can see that a bracket plate is also generated on the other side. So we can have a quick view so that we see that uh, it is properly connected to the right location. Okay, the, you can see that the board arrangements assemblies are also provided here. Now we would like to just edit this splice plate so that we are able to create a notch here because that is a normal, uh, you know, the bracket configuration in order to save the material. So let us go to the splice one and just edit it. And here what we can do is that we can just provide all these uh, materials. For example, here uh, we will have it as a, it is a notch or it's a bevel. So in the bevel, let us uh, just fill the details. So we'll keep it as uh, A is equal to 200. So, and we can keep it as, a, this is A is equal to 200 we can keep. And uh, let us keep a B is equal to 300. B equal to 300. 300 and we have got let us call it as a we want from the other side so we call it as a fourth so i think that this must be okay so let us apply it okay yes as you can see it is already cut to the required uh, shape and the same we shall do for spl2 as well we'll just edit it and uh, we'll uh, provide it as uh, the now the bevel and the bevel will give the same dimensions that is the uh, ac 200 and we'll keep it as B as a 300. B as a 300, and uh, we'll keep it here. It as a select corners as the four. This is a four. We'll keep. So I apply. Okay. So it does mean that our bracket modeling is a uh, perfectly all right. So let us uh, see the model here. So this is our uh, bracket. That is a border with the column flanges. Now it is important that we need to model the members. I do not have any mechanisms to apply the loads on this bracket plate directly. So what I do is that I'll model a very stiff uh, uh, plate by means of a uh, what we call as a manufacturing operation. And on the top of that, I will apply a stout column so that I can apply the required concentrated load and transfer it properly uh, to the brackets as per my requirement. So let us start adding the plate now, that is a stiffening plate to a manufacturing operation. So let us just add it to the operation. So it's a stiffening plate, so this is the stiffening plate. So, so let us start editing the stiffening plate. So we have it just for the S2 Sun 5. And here the thickness, uh, what I do is that I will just intentionally keep, keep it as a larger one so that it uh, provides me a stiffer plate for the load transfer. Let us start editing all the dimensions. So the B1 will keep it as a zero, and uh, all this this will be B2 will be will keep it as a 225. This will be will keep it as a 225. So this will be my 225, and then we have it as a, uh, this H1 and H1 and H2 we can keep it as a 250. So this will be my 250, and you can see that this is my 250, 250. So this means that this bracket has to be, you know, uh, provided it has to come directly on the bracket. So what we need to do is that we have to look it, uh, shift it towards the end of the bracket. This is done by providing the proper X values. So let us keep it as X as 300 so that it moves to the bracket end. And we'll keep it as a Y equal to 0 and the Z will keep it as 25. So that uh, we have the proper connectivity, so 25. And all these rotations, okay, we'll keep it as a, a zero. So now uh, we have generated the connecting plate, uh, okay, that is uh, through the manufacturing operation stiffening plate. And as you can see, that this plate it is made of a larger thickness. This is just to ensure that it acts as a rigid body and it transfers the loads to the brackets properly. Now we need to generate a column member at the center of this plate uh, for the application to enable us to transfer the loads properly. So this is done by the generation of a vertical member. So let us hear what we can do is 
we can just copy this member that should be uh, good enough for us so copy so here what we'll do is that we'll keep it as a small member so let us keep it as a HEB so we have to add it we don't have any member here so we let us add this new member so that will be taken as a HEB 140 so let us just add this so this is HEB so HEB 140 so we have it here okay fine so now we need to ensure that it is being properly placed so this will be taken as an ended member and uh, the orientation should be to keep it as a uh, zero and uh, this will be the same because so we want it to be a vertical member and the alpha the orientation will keep it as to the zero and the offsets because what we want is that we want to shift this column okay towards this position so it does mean that we need to specify it through the proper offsets so let us give it as a minus 300 so minus 300 minus 300 and then we have got the offset ey let us keep it as a zero that will not change it and let us keep this as a properly ez that is zero minus of a 413 these are all pre-calculated dimensions minus of 413 so so as you can see that a, a column is properly generated over here and all these parameters will remain the same so you can just see the model okay so now we need to apply the so-called manufacturing operations such as the cut okay and we need to properly weld this bracket and this uh, stiffening plate uh, and then apply the loads so let us go for uh, adding a manufacturing operations to cut this vertical member by the stiffening plate so we shall add it the operation and this will be done through the cut command and here uh, our member will be m2 because we want to cut the member m2 and it has to be cut by a plate so we'll select the plate and it has to be cut by sp1 not spl1 so we have to select it properly spa1 okay and uh, all these parameters will keep the same fine and the welding uh, will uh, use a weld of a 6 mm uh, as a fillet weld both sides so let's just uh, increase the thickness to 6 mm and this also will for the web also will increase to 6 mm so as you can see that it is being properly cut over here okay fine so now let us uh, start performing other manufacturing operation which will ensure the connection of the bracket with this uh, stiffening plate so let us uh, add a plate cutter manufacturing operation so just to add operation so we'll go for the plate cut operation so NP cut will uh, just start uh, adding all the parameters so this will be my the cut type will be the cut only so cut of plate so here we can just put it as all the parameters and here it, uh, it needs to be cut by SPL1 modified item will be SPL1. So let us properly add it to SPL1 because it is a plate. So we have to select as a plate, and the remaining part will keep it as a plus and the cut by. And it will be cut by what we can say that uh, it's an SP1 that is by this stiffening plate. So we will call it as SP1. So we have to select it as a, it is basically a is a plate so we have to select the plate then sp1 so that is my sp1 okay so and let's keep here all the wells all the wells to be here to be a butt weld so we ensure the connectivity between the two so now we shall just copy this and uh, create the other manufacturing operation plate cut for the other bracket too so let us just copy this so that we have got uh, the another uh, plate cut operation and all the parameters will be the same except that instead of uh, SPL1 obviously this has to be made for SPL2 and uh, it is SP1 and all other parameters will remain, uh, will remain the same so now what we can do is that we have to change this to minus change to minus okay and uh, for plate cut one also we have to change to minus minus so as you can see that uh, the model is now fully generated so this is the model so you can see that it looks as a very 
use model and you can see here also how the connectivity is being managed okay the bracket and uh, the stiffening plate you can see that it is being properly welded and connected there is no problem issue now just to see this model once again so this is our model so now we shall apply the load effects and the load will be applied through this is a small stone column that is placed centrally to the stiffening plate so let us uh, start for the load effects we'll add the loads and the loads will be obviously applied at the m2 end only and this will be subjected to an axial load of minus 500 so minus of 500 so that's good enough so you can see that the load is already applied here so now let us go for uh, calculating so we shall can just calculate it it is very important to say that uh, this is one type of bracket connection only and in the next tutorial uh, obviously we will go for uh, other type of wiring you know the bolts will be subjected to what we call as uh, an out of plane moment so now as you can see that the analysis is complete and uh, the plates as you can see that the plates have uh, gone up to 1.6 percentage okay it's a so we need to see which plate whether it is a bracket plate or something else and the bolts okay it's a 77.7 .7 acceptable and the weld source which is 99.9 .9, so it's a critical so let us quickly see the distribution of the strain so that we know that whether uh, there is any problem in our uh, in our uh, component plates so we have it as a the check so let us go for the check button and now the plane strain so we need to see we have had a strain on level of 1.6 percentage okay this is uh, coming only in this connecting plate and we know that for this project for this uh, tutorial this plate sp1 it is not a part of our structural system it is used to just to transfer the loads so any strain on this to the tune of 1.6 percentage is not uh, bothering us and regarding the bolts let us quickly see the bolts because of the in this case as you can see that uh, so we just mash it up so here we are finding that the bolts are taken to the tune of say 77.7 percentage so we'll see that which are these bolts so 77.7 so we would like to see the so we can see that here for example yes it's a as expected the critical bolts are the topmost of the bottommost bolts so you can say that today is uh, 71 so here again you can see that it is a uh, 71.8 say so that's again an extreme bolt and here also you can see that it is uh, an extreme bolt 77.7 so as expected the behavior of the structure is uh, in line with our expectations now let's quickly see we are finding that the wells are going up to the tune of say 100 percentage let us quickly see what's happening to our wells so regarding the wells, what we find is, so regarding this side, we can say that it is 99.8. Okay, so we find that these bolts are, these wells are basically connecting this small column to the, you know, the stiffening plate. So that is uh, not an issue for us. So here our brackets are safe, the bolts are safe, and the connection is okay. So please uh, start subscribing the channel because we are going to uh, upload a lot many interesting okay tutorials connecting uh, covering a very wide range use of uh, the idea statica to our structural connections so in addition uh, your comments are also very valuable to us so please start uh, commenting the uh, models and our the tutorials so that uh, we'll be able to uh, improve our quality and uh, that's all so thanks a lot and have a nice day.